गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग मैम गुड मॉर्निंग मैम यस सो चैप्टर्स टू एंड थ्री वी हैव कंप्लीटेड राइट वन टाइम रिविशन वी डिस्कस्ड द टॉपिक्स राइट सो वी हैव आई थिंक हाफ पोर्शन ऑफ चैप्टर वन सो आई विल राइट डाउन क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम चैप्टर वन टूडे टेक योर लेक्चर नोट और ऑफ बुक to make a note of the questions okay first question a general feature a general feature of most of the a general feature of most of the creativity tests of most of the creativity tests is that a general feature of most of the creativity tests is that they are dash is that they are dash options open ended closed ended one is open ended option 2 closed ended option 3 very difficult none of the above open ended closed ended very difficult none of the above any idea open ended open ended most of the creativity tests are open ended Okay. Next question. Dash is a preference. Dash is a preference for a particular activity. Dash is a preference for a particular activity while while aptitude a p t i t u d aptitude is its potentiality is its potentiality i'll repeat once more dash is a preference for a particular activity while aptitude is its potentiality elvina what is the answer interest 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 is the answer always when you hear the word preference note it will be interest i think in uh, this chapter in first chapter we have learned um anything related to preference as interest isn't it in the starting section and the middle uh, and the towards the end before we started creativity also we learned about interest okay then emotional quotient is denoted by no need to write you know right what eq eq and intelligence is iq intelligence quotient mm. and uh, mayer and selovey gave the definition they introduced the concept of emotional intelligence all that was asked in the previous exam i hope you know that then definition of emotional intelligence is very important study that mark it and keep yes intelligence in uh, indian tradition has a name write that as a question intelligence in indian tradition intelligence in indian tradition intelligence in indian tradition 
is known as dash intelligence in indian tradition is known as dash intelligence in indian tradition is known as dash options technological intelligence integral intelligence technological intelligence integral intelligence interactive intelligence that's enough what is the answer Meghna hmm integral integral intelligence that is the correct answer indian and integral in in learn like that okay integral intelligence is the uh, term given to uh, the intelligence in indian tradition similarly we had one concept uh, regarding self remember in indian tradition and western tradition or western culture yes what was it regarding the clear dichotomies between self and the other the collectivistic and individualistic culture okay yes but there it's not in in individualistic is western don't confuse okay integral intelligence is indian tradition in indian tradition and technological intelligence is considered in uh, western tradition or western cultures it's uh, given in page number 16 of your textbook mm then ch rice ch capital c capital h then rice ch rice attempted to standardize attempted to standardize binet's test binet's test in dash and dash binet's test in dash and dash ch rice attempted to standardize binet's test in dash and dash <coughs> two languages which are they refer page 15 indian urdu urdu is correct anyone urdu and punjabi urdu and punjabi okay not hindi urdu and punjabi in that page itself here one more name s m mohsin attempted to um, construct an intelligence test in hindi in the year 90 in the uh, period of 1930s note that name also s m mohsin then learn the difference between culture uh, fair and um, culture biased test okay difference between culture based uh, sorry uh, culture biased and culture fair tests then uh, the range of mild moderate severe and profound intellectual deficiency you have to learn that 
mild moderate severe profound intellectual deficiency then in which here uh, did uh, william stern introduce uh, this iq 1912 1912 and uh, the equation is also important iq equal to ma by ca into 100 sure question then learn what mental age and chronological ages okay so if uh, you are studying in 10th standard which means you will be around what age mm, 15 or 14 yeah 15 let it be 15 so 15 is your mental age or your chronological age chronological chronological age okay that's the chronological age then yeah what is the name write the next question what is the name of the bell curve what is the name of the bell curve c u r v e bell curve what is the name of the bell curve that depicts the that depicts the that depicts the frequency distribution of that depicts the frequency distribution of that depicts the frequency distribution of iq scores What is it called? Normal curve. Normal curve. Okay next question analytical intelligence analytical intelligence is the other name for dash analytical intelligence is the other name for dash and is a part of dash theory and is a part of dash theory <coughs> and is a part of dash theory <coughs> Componential and triarchy. That's right. <coughs> In triarchy theory, how many types of intelligence are there? Amal. Triarchy theory. Triarchy theory by Sternberg. How many types are there? how many types of intelligence are there one is componential just tell me how many types are there one three hmm how many i didn't hear tell tell i didn't hear amal
can't you hear me amal how many did you say tell me i'm 3 3 yes that is correct there are three uh types of intelligence explained by sternberg in triarchy theory tri means three remember that way tri archi theory by robert sternberg so one is comprehensive one is experiential and the other one is last one is contextual <coughs> contextual intelligence and you have to learn the other names for these three then yes psychologist counselors next question psychologist counselors politicians social workers psychologist counselors comma politicians comma social workers and religious leaders are likely to possess are likely to possess are likely to possess high dash intelligence high dash intelligence options interpersonal intrapersonal one is interpersonal second one is intrapersonal third one is naturalistic fourth one is spatial Ashish, find the answer. Third option. Third option. Which is the third option? It's interpersonal, intrapersonal, spatial, and one more I give. Naturalistic, right? naturalistic no krishna interpersonal interpersonal so take page number 7 everybody study the examples now itself for each multiple intelligence you have to study the examples for linguistic we have poets and writers for logical mathematical we have scientists and nobel prize winners spatial we have the uh, architects pilots sailors sculptors painters and all musical we have uh, obviously the musicians then bodily kinesthetic dancers actors athletes sports persons gymnasts surgeons etc then interpersonal is the one uh, where psychologists counselors and related individuals come then intrapersonal related to philosophers and spiritual leaders so religious leaders are in interpersonal spiritual leaders come in intrapersonal okay then why why so because religion is something that deals with a group of people isn't it one set of people follows a religion so that is interpersonal between two or more individuals intra means it's within us we are finding we are trying to purify our own spirit which means it's spiritual in nature so spiritual leaders comes under intrapersonal intelligence intrapersonal intelligence uh, philosophers and spiritual leaders or the examples the naturalistic it is hunters farmers tourists botanists 
zoologists, bird watchers, and so on. I told you right uh, when we uh, studied this portion, some people know the breeds very well, the breeds of dogs or the uh, species of plants very well. For us, it might be a plant uh, by the side of the road, but if it is an uh, Ayurvedic doctor or uh, a botanist, mm, then that person might know which uh, speci species that uh, belong to or which um, genre that is. Okay, study those examples first. And keep your videos on, everyone. How many types of multiple intelligences are there by Howard Gardner? Eight. Eight. Completed. Sneha completed. Amal completed. Okay. So write the next question. What is Alfred Binet's theory on intelligence called? What is Alfred Binet's theory of intelligence called? Or under which category of theories does this come? What is Alfred Binet's 
theory of intelligence called Sneha what is it called Given options two factor theory, structure of intellect, unifactor theory. Another two factor theory. It's unifactor. Unifactor theory. <coughs> it's the, it's, it comes in the first section of our intelligence theories, page number six. Two factor theory is by Charles Spearman. He told you uh, connect the spear to the two factors and study. S and G, so the specific factors and general factors. <coughs> Next question Dash approach considers. Dash approach considers intelligence as an intelligence as an aggregate of abilities. Intelligence as an aggregate of abilities. Options information processing approach psychometric approach interactional approach three options information processing approach psychometric approach interactional approach which is the one Psychometric. Psychometric approach. And in all psychometric approach, it denotes intelligence as one single index or one single unit. That is the difference between psychometric and information processing. Information processing, we discuss about the different processes involved in problem solving, reasoning, all those things. Okay. So information processing approach is regarding so many processes basically as the name suggests. But here in psychometric approach we have a single unit that is why it is called aggregate of abilities. Aggregate means the total right. Aggregate marks which means the total marks the overall marks. So here in uh, psychometric approach. Uh, the, it denotes intelligence in terms of one single unit or one single uh, index. That's the difference. Then, next question. Intelligence is the ability to judge well, understand well and reason well. Intelligence is the ability to judge well, understand well and reason well. Intelligence is the ability to judge well, understand well, and reason well. Whose definition is this? Igna. I'll give you options. Weschler, Oxford Dictionary, Alfred Binet. Weschler, Oxford Dictionary's definition or Alfred Binet's definition. Answer. Igna. Alfred Binet. Okay. Next question. 
dash is an in depth study dash is an in depth study of the individual dash is an in depth study of the individual in terms of her or his psychological attributes comma psychological history psychological history in the context in the context of in the context of her or his in the context of her or his psychosocial and physical psychosocial and physical environment environment in the context of her or his psychosocial and physical environment alvina case study case study when you hear the word in depth itself you have to relate it to case studies all the time case studies are in depth information about a single case about a particular case of interest okay and last year also when we studied the case study method we learned it is an in depth it is the method used in research which collects in depth information about a particular individual or a case and that is the uh, that is the advantage of case study over surveys also in survey we can get so many information from different people but we cannot get in depth information about a single individual okay so case studies are always in depth study or collection of in depth information from a person then uh dash involves next question dash involves seeking information from a person dash involves seeking information from a person on a one to one basis seeking information from a person on one to one basis on one to one basis what is the answer interview interview one to one basis it can be face to face it can be over telephones also interviews answer is interview next question dash is an objective and standardized measure dash is an objective and standardized measure dash is an objective and standardized measure of an individuals of an individuals mental an individuals mental and bar or and or or and or or behavioral characteristics behavioral characteristics behavioral characteristics answer psychological tests psychological tests correct Okay, next question. Answer a psychological test. Okay, next question. Dash R. Dash R. Enduring beliefs about an ideal mode of behavior. dash 
our enduring beliefs about an ideal mode of behavior about an ideal mode of behavior about an ideal mode of behavior mahek can you guess values values are enduring beliefs about an ideal mode of behavior similarly learn interest personality then intelligence and aptitude from that section page 3 and 4 okay then uh, mark individual differences as well as situationism application level questions can come from these two okay even though it's given in the introduction section just as a small portion not uh, much is elaborated on that but still i found so many um, this application level questions from these two sections from first three paragraphs individual differences and situationism okay that's it other than that the questions that might come from this chapter is who proposed each intelligence theory what are the components in each theory or maybe one component is given and you have to find which theory this is from for example general factors comes in which theory general factors krishma two factor two factor theory spearman's theory charles spearman's theory two factor theory okay yeah any other doubt anyone we discussed all the portions from 2 and 3 right chapters 2 and 3 yes have you all started studying the other subjects if not start today tomorrow you have class yes okay then what else exam starts monday right and ends and son friday friday five subjects okay which is the toughest in all the five hmm krishna is telling something not to us <laughs> okay ashish which is the toughest for you no nothing like that No. No. Mahek. Physics. And for humanities batch, what is the general opinion? Hmm? I have math so for me it's math is difficult math okay sneha what about you if i'm not lazy everything becomes easy okay yes then which one has a uh, more number of chapters which subject is it psychology 
his most of them has two to three chapters two to three chapters <clears throat> okay I, uh, we actually planned for having only two chapters but that's uh, that's when the revised syllabus came in so obviously we had to shift that into the term two portions no but that's good because we have already completed two chapters from term two <coughs> and if that is written exam also it will be different now okay anything else to tell <coughs> um, hmm. Will we have classes on the exam days? Yes, I think. Exams in the evening. <laughs> exams in the evening, right? Isn't it? What was informed? Exams are in the evening section, right? Yes or no? Yes, okay. The uh, smaller ones, the you know, younger ones had not the 11th standards, the other ones, uh, class 1 to 9, they are having exam now in the evening. <coughs> okay. Yeah, so probably you will have class in the morning, I think. Mm, but Monday we don't have psychology, right? Otherwise, we would have done a mock test at least. So, uh, make sure you learn all the answers to these questions that we discussed in class. Okay. Mm, who has written all the questions without missing one? And who has a good handwriting? One of you just put that in our group so that the absentees can refer. Okay. Who will do that? Decide and go. Otherwise, I'll have to scream in the group. I don't know your handwritings properly till now. So, <laughs> Elvina, have you written? Yes, ma'am, but I have missed one, one or two questions. Okay. Anybody who did not miss? Meghna. Can you put it in the group? All the three. Okay. Or whichever questions we wrote, all those. Okay. Shall we wind up then? I don't think we'll meet before the exam, so all the best. Okay, bye.